The Brady-Manning rivalry, the rivalry between quarterbacks Tom Brady and Peyton Manning produced some of the most memorable matchups in NFL history. The legendary rivalries, Lawrence Taylor vs. Offensive Lineman The world of American football has witnessed numerous legendary rivalries throughout its illustrious history. From fierce quarterback duels to epic battles between running backs and linebackers, there is no shortage of captivating matchups. One rivalry, however, stands above the rest the clash between Lawrence Taylor, the imposing linebacker, and defensive lineman, the guardians of the quarterback. Lawrence Taylor, also known as LT, revolutionized the linebacker position during his tenure with the New York Giants from 1981 to 1993. Standing 6 feet 3 inches and weighing 237 pounds, Taylor possessed a unique combination of speed, power, and agility that made him a nightmare for offenses. His explosiveness off the line of scrimmage and ability to disrupt plays quickly earned him the reputation as one of the most dominant defensive players in NFL history. On the other side of the line, offensive linemen were tasked with protecting their quarterbacks from Taylor's ferocious attacks. These unsung heroes of the game were often the target of Taylor's relentless pursuit of the ball. Standing at an average weight of 300 pounds, offensive linemen needed to use their size, strength, and technique to keep Taylor at bay. The clash between Taylor and offensive linemen was not just a physical battle, it was a mental game as well. Taylor's speed and athleticism forced offensive linemen to be constantly on high alert, adjusting their strategies and making split-second decisions during games. The constant cat-and-mouse game between LT and his opponents added an extra layer of intensity to their rivalry. One iconic moment that exemplifies this legendary rivalry occurred during Super Bowl XXV in 1991. The Giants were facing the high-powered Buffalo Bills offense led by quarterback Jim Kelly. Taylor's task was clear to disrupt Kelly's rhythm and apply constant pressure. The Bills' offensive linemen, however, were determined to protect their quarterback and deny Taylor any opportunities to wreak havoc. Throughout the game, Taylor executed a variety of moves and stunts to test the mettle of the offensive linemen. He showcased his signature outside in technique, where he would explode off the edge and quickly change direction to penetrate the pocket. These maneuvers forced the offensive linemen to be quick on their feet, adapting to Taylor's relentless assault. The game came down to the wire, with Taylor and the Giants clinging to a narrow lead. On the final drive, the Bills desperately needed a touchdown to secure victory. Taylor, determined to seal the win for his team, unleashed a relentless barrage of pass-rushing moves. The offensive linemen fought valiantly, but Taylor's sheer determination and skill were unmatched. Finally, on the pivotal play, as Kelly dropped back to pass, Taylor burst through the line and delivered a crushing hit, forcing a fumble that ultimately sealed the Giants' victory. This iconic moment exemplified the sheer power and dominance of Taylor over offensive linemen, a rivalry that transcended the confines of the football field. Though Taylor retired in 1993, his legacy lives on through the battles he waged against defensive linemen. His impact on the game cannot be overstated, as he redefined the linebacker position and set a new standard for defensive play. Offensive linemen who faced Taylor during his prime are still in awe of his immense talent and remain grateful for the lessons they learned from their encounters. In conclusion, the rivalry between Lawrence Taylor and offensive linemen is a testament to the intensity and competitiveness of American football. Both sides brought their A-game, pushing each other to the limits and leaving an indelible mark on the sport. The battles between Taylor and defensive linemen showcased the epitome of athleticism, technique, and strategy, creating moments that will forever be etched in the annals of football history. Ball history.